I'm Dr. Melissa Heenan from American Animal Hospital. And as you can see in front of me, we have a whole bunch of different items here today. And the one thing that all these items have in common is that every single one of them is hazardous to your pets. Um, the cleaning chemicals, thanks to the Mr. Yuck campaign of a couple of decades ago, everybody is familiar with and familiar with concerns and not letting your pets get into them, not letting your kids get into them. But most of these items that you see in front here are everyday items that most of us have in their homes. In fact, almost all of these came from my home, <laughs> um, which are very toxic to your pets, cats and dogs, as well as your small furries. Um, ferrets in particular are notorious for stealing things, getting into things that you didn't think they actually had access to. So of the items we have here today, we've got your cleaning products, white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, which are yummy and they're my favorite, but the macadamia nuts in them are actually highly toxic in quantity. Ibuprofen, which many of us take, that also includes Tylenol and some of the other pain medications that people take are extremely toxic, especially to cats, but to dogs as well, and never ever give ibuprofen or Tylenol to your pets if they're hurting, they're much better products, so contact your veterinarian. The onion and garlic family that you see here, that whole family, can cause injury to pets and specifically to their red blood cells. And then moving on, everybody's heard about chocolate and the dangers of chocolate, chocolate uh, drops here, candy drops, but it matters a lot what type of chocolate. All chocolate is bad, um, but depending on whether or not it's a piece of chocolate cake or a piece of baker's chocolate makes a big difference. And so if your pet gets into it, make sure you know roughly how much they ate and contact your veterinarian right away. Don't wait to see if your pet is gonna have a problem with it before calling your vet. Many items like these lilies here, you won't know that there's a problem until it's actually too late. And so lilies being something that's really popular this time of year with Easter just passed and Mother's Day coming up, we want to make sure that kitties aren't chewing on any part of the lily. It can actually permanently damage and fatally damage their kidneys if they ingest that. So don't wait. Don't wait for them to have a problem before you contact your veterinarian. Some of the other things we have here are coffee beans, raisins. A lot of people like to give grapes and raisins to their pet as treats. Please don't. We never know which pets are going to react to them. It's a very strange reaction with that particular family of foods. Um, so again, don't risk it. There are better treats available. And one of the weird ones is Gorilla Glue. Uh, we have seen cases of toxicity with dogs in particular who chewed up the container and they end up with this big ball of hard glue that's stuck in their stomach and requires surgery to remove and some other problems. Um, the other oddball here, is gum. And I know a lot of pets who like to go into mom and dad's purse, or mom's purse, <laughs> <laughs> and steal that pack of gum and chew it up. Most of the gums that are currently on the market contain a sweetener called xylitol, which pets cannot metabolize and it can cause a very dangerous drop in their blood sugar if they're allowed to ingest enough quantity of it. So make sure you know what your pets have access to, but more importantly, talk with your veterinarian about uh, what things to keep away from your pet, what foods not to feed your pet, what plants to keep away from them. There's a whole lot more plants out there that are toxic to pets that we just don't have here today. And many of your vet clinics will have lists of household toxins, household plants to not let your pet get into. And then if something does happen or you're concerned at all, your pet isn't acting right, call your veterinarian first. If you know that they've gotten into something, another really good resource is the ASPCA website at ASPCA.org. You can search for poisonous plants and other toxins there, or you can call the Pet Poison Hotline, and that number is 1-888-426-4435, and that's the Animal Poison Control Hotline, not just the regular human poison control.